Cottam is a residential suburb to the northwest of Preston which has developed over recent decades around what was once a rural village of mainly farms and small holdings. But settlement here goes back over many centuries. The name Cottam derives from the Old English words cot and um which mean at the cottages. Cottam formed part of a medieval township with Leah, Ashton and Ingle, and both Ashton and Leah appear in the Doomsday Book. A manor house, Cottam Hall, may have existed here by the end of the 13th century. Historian Henry Fishwick wrote that the earliest landowners on record in Cottam were the Haydocks, one of whom was Henry de Haydock, who, in a charter, granted lands in Cottam to Geoffrey de Cottam at a yearly rent of 15 pence and half a pound of cinnamon. The Haydocks would live here until the 18th century. From their earliest days, the Haydocks were an influential Lancashire Catholic family, and in the centuries after Henry VIII, Cotton provided a place of worship for persecuted Catholics. According to tradition, priests were hidden here, and Cotton Hall was a frequent target for the anti-Catholic authorities. The name Cotton is first mentioned in records in the period 1177 to 82, when Arthur of Ashton granted some land in Cotton and the land next the full site to Richard, son of Uchtred. The Cotton Tithe Map of 1838 marks a north-south brook named Foulsyke, immediately south of the Great Intact Field, which is next to the enclosure containing Cotton Old Hall, with its larger barn close by. The Ordnance Survey Map of 1848 confirms the position of the hall, the barn and the Great Intact Field, with a pond clearly marked to its eastern side. By the time of the next Ordnance Survey Map of 1895, the old hall has been demolished and the present Cotton Hall farmhouse has been built on the same site. The name Foulsyke is probably derived from Fulsyche, and so the land grant in Cotton of 1177 was close to the great intact field and the site of today's farmhouse. It would be nice to think that part of the 19th century pond is still present here, but the ancient Falsite Brook does definitely still run away from below the great intact field close to Valentine's Meadow to join the Savic Brook further down.